folks, in this video, we're going to be using the A10 Mini to do a complete, simple, one camera, one presentation computer setup for a church. So let's get started. Hey folks, AJ CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I've gotten this request um, quite a while, well before I got the A10 Mini, and it's about time for me to actually get it, to actually do the video now that I got the A10 in place. And that is mainly to do a basic setup of how to use this with a one camera setup to put scripture on the wall, lyrics, um, presentations of any type using any form of um, program that you decide to use, Worship Extreme, Easy Worship, Pro Presenter, PowerPoint, Media Shout, Proclaim, um, Open LP, whatever it is, all of these softwares are gonna work the exact same way. I don't have um, PowerPoint on this system, but I promise you, if you follow these steps, it's going to be the exact same way across the board on any application that you decide to use. So if we cut over here, I want to show you again what I have right now is I have my Sony 4K camera coming in right here. This is the overhead camera that you're looking at right now that really wouldn't be in this setup, but just consider it like a secondary camera if you had it. And nothing is in HDMI number three. HDMI number four is the second output of my other computer over here. And maybe I should hook up another camera so y'all could actually see it. No. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in my NVIDIA Shield, which will allow me to have another camera here. All right, so now we have another camera here and can I switch it? Yes. All right. So in here, let me get rid of this. All right. So as you can see, we have our Sony camera right there. Then we have the other camera right there that I was talking about. Then this is the NVIDIA Shield that we're looking at right now. This is the second output of my mini ITX streaming box, which is right here. The output is going through a HDMI splitter and one of them is going into my ATEM that's right here, my um, Studio HD, excuse the floor. And then it's also going here to a 4K TV that I normally have my PlayStation hooked up to. So that is the full setup of what I'm using. Um, now again, this is the first time I actually tested with my Nvidia Shield, because last time I tried to do it, the battery was dead. So I got everything set up here, and I didn't show here how I'm actually doing this. And then at the same time, I am recording all of this on my other system over here, which is running the software for the Atom Studio HD, as well as the OBS, which is recording everything that you're seeing right now. So that's how I have my whole setup going. All right, so what we're gonna do now is cut over to our mini computer over here. So I have this set up so you can see what's going on on the screen. And like I said, I don't have PowerPoint on this system. I really only have Worship Extreme because this is the system I take with me when I'm going to clients or when I'm going to places to live stream um, like high school events and stuff like that. All right, so inside of here, like I said, we have a secondary output which is gonna go to the ATEM Mini here, and that's HDMI import number four. The output from the ATEM over HDMI is going to a splitter, which goes to our ATEM Television Studio HD, as well as the monitor that I showed you. So inside of here, you obviously know if you're doing this presentation, you need to have two 
um, display outputs from your computer. All right, so I had this little playlist here with just scripture on here. Now I'm gonna do this two ways because I've been asked to do this two ways. So inside of here, I'm gonna do a full screen and let's pick a background on here. Uh, let's pick, let's pick this one. All right, so we're launching this. As you can see, this is what's on the screen. If I switch over to monitor number two, you'll see it's nothing really shown. I can click on here, go to the next scripture and keep pressing the right arrow, clicking on the next slide. And you see it's going to take up full screen. Really cool. Now, the one thing I would say in doing this is <clears throat> you can make this take up live um, the full screen like you just showed or you can do the picture in picture here now the reason i have my main camera in number one is if you are not using the software that comes with this and you're using this when you use the picture in picture controls they automatically are linked to hdmi number one so that's what i'm going to use so if i switch back over here to our scripture that's taking a full screen and i set uh, let's do upper left like that, right? And then I'm just going to turn this on. So if I come in here and turn this on, boom, here you go. So technically you could have your pastor preaching or whoever, um, have a cut over to the choir. So it's still taking up the big part that you want people to see the words. This is honestly, I would think this would be ideal if somebody was just there in the sanctuary. I wouldn't necessarily want to do this on a stream, a, hey, but to each their own. So that's really simple because all I'm doing is having the picture in picture on and I'm just using number four, which is the second screen from our presentation system, which displays the output for the um, what people are using. This is what they're going to be seeing. And then you can still see from your camera what's going on. Now, what if you don't want to do that? Say you want to do a um, kind of like a what I'm doing right now. So if I like backed up and I wanted to have scripture at the bottom. So to do something like that, what I would recommend is we're going to cut back over here in our software. Now, Worship Extreme, as well as Pro Presenter, um, I believe Easy Worship does this as well, too. You can do a template. Templates are how this stuff is displayed. So what I'm going to do is come in here and with the ATEM, this is a bonus. The ATEM, we're going to use, now here's the software component. You're going to need the software to do it this way, to do lower thirds. You need to use your downstream key or your DSK right here. And what we're going to do is set this. Our number four is our second monitor. So the first thing we're going to do is set the fill source to camera number four, set the key source to number four, and that's it. Now to turn this on, you just have to hit this. We're not going to do it right now, but this is all we need to do to set in the ATEM software. You cannot do this on the um, on the device itself. There are no inputs or no buttons for you to do this with. So that's the downside to this. But at the same time, I mean, this would be kind of overkill. Now, I guess you could have put some buttons right there or something like that, or maybe something right here. But either way, I'm not complaining. Um, so to use the DSK, it's not on here. This is the upstream keyer. We're using the downstream keyer, which is not present at all. So what we're going to do is back over in here. What we're going to do now, let's cut over to our software. And this is what you need to follow if you're making this in PowerPoint or you need to do your slides in this fashion. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove our background because the the ATEM will natively erase anything that's black. So we want to make sure that we have no background at all in here. Let me clear out everything here. And then I already have a template that was made, which pushed everything down to the lower third of the screen. And I actually put a block around it, as you see. All of this black is here because what's going to happen is when we hit that DSK button, what's going to happen is 
everything that's black is going to be erased similar to like this and this is the only thing that you're going to see that's why when you're making your slide if you want to do a lower third like that wherever black is that's where it's going to be erased so normally the person in camera would be in this top part and i put it here black here just because it makes it look cool but you can actually put an animated gif here a video or whatever in this background and then as long as it's not black it won't be it um it will still show up now you want to make sure you don't put black shadows on here because that would be a race you won't see that um you just got to be careful whatever the colors are and that's mainly it so let's go ahead and save this we're going to go back to edit the slide and we're going to change this to lower thirds now so if we launch this now as you see these are how my slides are so if I go directly back to the output and I launch this slide here, now you're seeing, see now it's taking down the lower part of the screen. Now, what I'm going to do is let's switch back to the camera here. So I'm taking up the full camera here and we're going to cut back over to our software. We're going to bring up the ATEM software and we're going to turn hit this um, DSK button so let me switch back over here so you can all see this happen in real time so say somebody pastor the choir is going to sing they have a scripture that's coming up I just hit the DSK button and boom there you go there are my lower thirds this could be scripture this could be lyrics it could be anything as long as the background is completely black using dsk button it will remove everything that's black that's coming in from that hdmi input whichever one that you pick one through four um, if you had a static image similar to what we did in the previous video and we loaded that into the media player and brought this up it will work the exact same way too um, you would just use that as the lower part of here but this makes it more dynamic so when somebody's talking you can click through this and it shows right on the screen the exact same way and we're not doing anything different except for the fact that we're just using the none of these buttons are changing at all and as you see it goes on because the DSK is not on here all I'm doing is having this set up as the DSK to read from HDMI number two and that's it really slick very easy to do and this can open up to many other things that you can work with this um, but again as I said this has to be done in software now the other thing I would say is while we're doing this let's cut back over the computer so you can see how this split works again now depending on your setup like I said this is a simple system to where my presentation system is let me turn these off here for a second my system that I have is powerful enough to run scripture but it's also powerful enough to run OBS at the same time so I'm connected through the HD I mean the USB-C into the same system that's over here and let me cut over to the camera so y'all can see this so this is my mini ITX system over here that is running all of the software on here at the same time and all I have to do is bring up OBS because it's running and picking up the feed and everything that you're seeing right now from the A10 Mini is coming in over HDMI instead of the capture card, which it does have a capture card in here. Um, I could have just split the HDMI and go out, but we're trying to avoid doing that. So if we come over here and I have OBS brought up on my screen here, you can see now that I minimize this, everything that we were doing is can now be displayed in the sanctuary the same way, but this is also what would be presented to your live stream very simple um, you don't need any extra serious horsepower we already talked about what type of computer that you need but you're seeing we have cameras and now granted I have multiple cameras in the scenario but you have one camera one computer or you could have two computers to do this it doesn't really matter but I'm just doing this as simple as possible so just the same way if I brought this up 
and you have people watching on your live stream, boom, there's your lower thirds. And then in the background, somebody will still be switching these scriptures. Now, honestly, in this type of setup, unless you really, really got it down, this might be tedious because you already have two monitors set up. One is actually <laughs> the one that you're looking at with all this stuff going on. The second one is going out to the ATEM and to your projector. So it all depends on how you want to set this up. If there was a way for you to have three monitors in here um, connected to your system, I think that would be great. I just don't have the ability to do that with this system. This one only has two outputs right now. Um, but hopefully that makes sense to y'all. It's really simple and it's really powerful what this A10 Mini can do and all the features you can. Now, I mean, there's so much more you could do with this, but again, I wanted to show you just the easiest way to get started because you gotta crawl before you can walk. You gotta walk before you can run. So we're gonna show you how you could use this. And also, I didn't tell you, I have my Rode video mic coming in right now. That's what I'm using to capture all of this. And I just hit that <laughs> stand. Um, the same way you could have had, if you have a PA system, sound system in your church, you can run a cable out, an aux out, whatever, headphone out, coming into this over a stereo cable, and there you go. And as you can hear, I was capturing audio the entire time while I was doing this. So anyway, I hope that helps. Really simple, and I will be going over even more detailed stuff like this and bigger switcher options in the complete church live streaming one on one course that's dropping on January 1st, 2020. You still got time to get in on the early bird pricing, link is in the description. But, um, that's about it. I'm gonna be making more and more of these A10 mini videos now that I got it in hand. Um, <laughs> been talking about this for quite a while since it's been announced. So, if you like this type of content and you want some more stuff and you want me to go over some more things, please leave a comment and let me know what other type of things you would like me to test out for you. And before you even put it in there, I am working on the multi-view solution that we've been talking about and everybody knows that this can't do. I am working on that. It is December 24th. It's no way for me to get the stuff in in time. So I'm thinking this might be the first week of January where I can get stuff in place to be able to do a multi-view um, type of setup and we'll see how that goes. So if that's in your comment, I'm letting you know, save your time. <laughs> we will be doing that um, unless there's some specific type of multi-view that y'all are looking for. Um, I'm already looking at doing an SDI version and an HDMI version. SDI version is going to be more costly because I got to convert everything first, but that is there. Please leave a comment if there's anything else that you'd like me to go over with the ATEM Mini. Um, and I think that's about it. So if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And again, there are over 79% of y'all who are enjoying these videos are not subscribed. So Bruh. please subscribe. It helps the channel more than you realize and it helps us get out to more folks so that we can help other folks who are looking at the ATEM, other churches, any people budding video production artists or whatever. So anyway, <laughs> that's about it. If you celebrate it, Y'all have a great Christmas tomorrow, a happy holidays if you don't celebrate that. But anyway, love and hug on the people that are closest to you. And I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for all the things that y'all have done with me and for me for this year and this channel. I appreciate y'all. Love you. And we will see y'all in the next video later.